All right, the world of comedy and politics are clashing this week in Chicago for the DNC, and Stephen Colbert's The Late Show and The Daily Show are both broadcasting live from the Windy City. And as KCAL Entertainment correspondent Suzanne Marquez explains, some new correspondents on The Daily Show are now getting their time to shine. Breaking news, the presidential election is still on. The Daily Show is in Chicago this week covering the DNC. They're calling the coverage Indecision 2024. As of tonight, the DNC is officially underway. With two new correspondents, Josh Johnson. Banning social media won't make the bully energy go away. It'll just redirect it to the rest of us, specifically me. I used to live across from middle school. I basically couldn't go outside after three. And Grace Kulinschmidt. What's going on in Buckingham Palace? They're eating beans on toast for breakfast. They're driving on the wrong side of the road. There's flying nannies everywhere. It's a mess. Josh and I both kind of started our comedy careers in Chicago, randomly enough. So that's, it's cool that we're here right now but yeah my background was always in sketch comedy and I was doing a, a bunch of stand-up um, and then just like acting in tv shows so it's been fun like getting to do something so consistent too we have two options would you rather talk about the election or do calisthenics let's do calisthenics Josh has been a writer on The Daily Show for the past six years and says Jon Stewart is in the trenches with them cheering the team on. I've asked him things before because I'm I'm really feels like, you know, even though I've been doing comedy a long time, it feels like I'm almost starting my career and everything. And so he's always very gracious with his advice and he's he's got a lot of enthusiasm and excitement for other people's work, which I think is something that's very rare and special, especially for someone who's like at like the pinnacle the way that he is. They are the oldest people ever to run for president, breaking by only four years the record that they set <laughs> the last time they ran. They're enjoying having new candidates to joke about. I think everyone was exhausted, Biden himself, you know? It, it wasn't an exciting rematch, really. And especially after that first uh, debate, it was tough. So I think that this switch up has been beneficial to our show too, just because we're getting to think of new things. You know, everyone was tired of saying Biden's old, you know, ourselves included. Would you rather talk about the election or give me five compliments? Give you five compliments. All right, hurry up, otherwise <laughs> I'll think that you're lying. Okay, well, you're very pretty. <laughs> Shut the hell up! I love your haircut. Oh my God, it's Your new. dress very cute. Thank you that I didn't do it myself. I love full jewelry. Me too, and it's actually real if I'm being honest. It's just very nice. That's so, so nice. That's I can really flip on people by the way. <laughs> they are pretty funny. Jon Stewart will host the show tomorrow. The Daily Show airs weeknights at 11 p.m. on Comedy Central and is available the next morning on Paramount+.